Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Veil using Minecraft 1.20.1. Things have changed. The cave behind me didn't look like this. It actually looked more like this. And then I got to work. But I'm going to speed this up for you. So I am digging out this whole cave, flattening it out, flattening the walls, closing off the opening, make it so that I can put some double doors in. And as soon as I get this, get my stuff positioned, I brought a cow in. Then I decided to work on some wooden floors. I really liked the cherry wood, which is new for me. I haven't messed with it before so I laid that down and worked on some stairs I wanted to stretch my resources so of course I used the half slabs I continued to expand the area expand the room and as I did that I also put in the floor and fixed the lighting so that all gets done and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And this is what the end result looks like. The floor is all laid out. My water source in case I need it. And we look over here and we see me finishing up the stairs down to that lower level which is just an empty cave at the moment. Then if we go to the top of this staircase, we have this upper area. Currently it has a door to the outside as well. And then if we follow this down and go to the left, this is our long tunnel that we built that will take us up to our upper area. I put the method of getting upward here. And when you get to the top, you see our room. And there's the mining shaft. It goes all the way down. And we take a look at some of this. Let's look up here. This we've seen. If you've watched my other videos, the view is awesome. And then we can get back down to the lower view by simply dropping. And splash down. And that's what I have built so far. That gives you a idea of what I've worked on while I was off camera. As for my next project, we need to go to a village. There's one nearby. I'm going to take my camel and head over there and start grinding out some trades so that I can get some enchantments. But first, let's do this. Okay, you can see here my last two advancements. Cover me with diamonds and diamond clad. I took the diamond ore and I used a fortune three pick and I got lots of diamonds. The number I can't remember right now, but either way, I put them together and formed armor and now I am clad in diamonds. Next, I need books, magic books, so that I can enchant this armor. So that's where I'm heading next. We are back at Falder's farm at spawn, and I'm closing the doors. That way is my base, and the village is this way. So we will just follow this road. Is it a path or a road? And... It will go up and through this mountain range. There's a vendor. 
And we will take this all the way up to the village. And then I can start working on getting some books because there are villagers here. See here we can sell coal or cod and raw cod. So we can sell these to the villager for, and there's a recipe, for gemstones, emeralds specifically. And then over here, we also have a cleric. He'll buy glass bottles. And then over here, there's a librarian. And he will sell a mending book for 10 emeralds. I can sell him books for emeralds. So I have to get books, I have to get glass, I have to keep trading back and forth until hey, I can sell, I can buy glass here and turn them into bottles. So you see how this is going to work. Let me just show you. We're going to buy, I've got eight emeralds, we'll buy the glass. Then we can go over here and use the glass to make bottles. That makes 30 bottles. I'll move the glass, put the bottles in my hot bar. And then we can go over to the cleric and sell glass bottles. Come on. And nine glass bottles for an emerald. That gives us three. Well, that's an absolute horrible example. That's not the way it's going to work. Or if we come prepared, we can get some leather that we brought and then go up to the villager that buys leather and flint and we can convert these over and that finishes him out for till he refreshes I now have 22 emeralds. And this guy sells Unbreaking 3 for 15 emeralds. Really what I'm going to have to do is a whole lot of farming and trading with the farmers. And that's going to be how I get most of my emeralds. Of course, I have to get the emeralds to buy the books, and I have to get the books to upgrade my armor. So, that's what I spent a lot of time doing. However, there was this special case. Leave a comment if you thought I was going to die. Now, what I, happens next is I want to show you what happens when you hit one of your villagers. It's not a good idea. This is how you build your way up. Until now all my armor has mending and unbreaking three. I still have to put protection on the armor, but I'm not sure where to get it. <gasps> oh shit, no!
Okay, I didn't do that. My mouse started firing off, and ah. this is why you don't hit your villager. I now have to pay 20 emeralds for the same ah. book that was charging me 15 emeralds before I hit the librarian. So, don't do that. It's a bad thing. Worse than that, if your villagers can talk to each other, then all their prices go up. Well, there are places I haven't explored yet in this village. I didn't realize it went down here further than I thought, but I could have sheared sheep for emeralds. And some of these, there are also more villagers. This one has looting. And this one has silk touch. So that's very cool to know. And this is a dark forest. With the mushrooms and the dark oak. So that's good. I like that a lot. The sign says, Welcome to Upper Galt. That's the name of the village. Let's go home. And we are back. So, let me put the camel away. And we are home. I'm going to wrap up today's video right here. So, there's one thing I would like you to do. Please subscribe, like, and click on the bell. So that you can be notified of future content. And with that in mind, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.